Welcome to an introductory lesson on functions. A function is a rule that assigns each element from an input set to exactly one element of the output set. A function f maps x to y is normally written using the notation shown here, where we have f colon x arrow y. The set of all inputs for a function is called the domain. The set of all allowable outputs is called the codomain. And the set of all actual outputs is the range. In previous math classes, you may not have referred to codomain, but there is a difference between the codomain and range. Again, the codomain is the set of all allowable outputs, while the range is the set of all actual outputs. And the output is called the image of the input. Let's look at some examples of functions. Number one, we have the function f, which maps the set of integers to the set of integers, defined by f of n equals three n. The domain indicated by the first z and the codomain indicated by the second z are both the set of integers. However, the range is only the set of integer multiples of three. This is because the function is defined by f of n equals three n. So while n can be any integer, notice the output is always going to be three times an integer, giving us a range of the set of integer multiples of three. So again, notice how the codomain and range are different in this case. Next, we have the function g that maps the set containing the elements of one, two, and three to the set containing the elements of a, b, and c, defined by g of one equals c, g of two equals a, and g of three equals a. So notice how the order of the elements in the domain and codomain do not indicate related inputs and outputs, meaning the first element of one does not necessarily have an output of a, the first element in the codomain. The second element of two in the domain does not necessarily have an output of b in the codomain and so on. We actually have to define the inputs and outputs as shown here. So in this case, the domain is the set containing the elements of one, two, and three. The codomain is a set containing the elements of a, b, and c. But in this case, the range is the set containing only the elements of A and C because those are the only actual outputs. And also notice that G of two and G of three are the same element of the codomain because both outputs are A. This is okay since each element in the domain still has only one output. Again, the input of two has exactly one output, which is A, and the input of three also has exactly one output which just happens to also be a. And let's look at one more example of a function. Here we have the function h that maps the set containing the elements of one, two, three, and four to the set of natural numbers defined by the table, where we have the inputs in the first row and we have the outputs in the second row. Here the domain is the finite set containing the elements of one, two, three, and four, and the codomain indicated by n is the set of natural numbers. At first, we might think this function is the same as the first function f we defined in number one, but this is not true, even though the function rule is the same, because notice how to determine the outputs, we multiply the inputs by three. The domain and codomain are different, so these are different functions. If we take a quick look back at number one, the domain and codomain were the set of integers, and the range was the infinite set of integer multiples of three. So the domain, codomain, as well as the range are different. And now let's look at some examples of rules or relations that are not functions. Just because we can write a rule or relation in the same way we can write a function does not mean that the rule is a function. The following are not functions. Here we have f that maps natural numbers to natural numbers, defined by f of n equals n divided by two. The reason this is not a function is because not every input has an output. Where does f send three? Well, f of three is equal to three divided by two, but three divided by two is not an element in the codomain, which again is a set of natural numbers, and therefore this is not a function. Number two, consider the rule that matches each person to their phone number. If you think of the set of people as a domain and the set of phone numbers as the codomain, then this is not a function, since some people have two phone numbers. Remember to be a function, every input must have exactly one output. 
So in this case, if someone had two phone numbers, the input would have two outputs, making it not a function. And people can easily have two phone numbers. For example, they may have two cell phones, one for personal and one for business. Switching the domain and codomain sets doesn't work either, since some phone numbers belong to multiple people. For example, two people or a family may share a cell phone, or some households may still have a landline, indicating the input of a phone number may have multiple outputs, which is why it would not be a function. I hope you found this helpful.